Hello my friends and konnichiwa for my Japan friends. Today on my channel Type 74, main battle tank of Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. It was designed by Mitsubishi Heavy Industrial from 1962 to 1973. Production started in September 1975 and ended in 1989, with total production running to 893 examples. First prototype was called STB-1. The design included rotating cupola of the commander, new auto loader for the main gun, and remote controlled anti-aircraft machine gun. Later, auto loader and remote controlled machine gun provide too expensive and complex and were removed. The final prototype designated STB-6 was delivered in 1973. Production finally started in 1975. Type 74 has very interesting suspension. It has hydropneumatic suspension. This is seen as a must-have feature by Japanese strategic heads, given the Japanese countryside hilly, mountainous and generally road nature. The suspension allows the tank to ride higher or lower depending on the terrain type. Tilt left or right or riser and lower the front or rear of the tank. This increases the elevation or depression angle of the gun, giving the ability to fire over a ridge line without presenting a target for an enemy vehicle. Hydropneumatic suspension was the main feature of this tank. During Cold War, a similar suspension system was used by Swedish on their STRV 103 S tank. As I remember, only these two countries used such type of suspension on its main battle tanks. The tracks. The tracks were of the same standard design as the used by the Type 61 and US tanks in general. Engine Mitsubishi 10 ZF 10 cylinder V formation air cooled two stroke diesel. Firstly, it has 858 horsepower, but designers have overcome the cooling problem, which in the past tended to limit output from this type of engine to a maximum of 100 horsepower. That's why officially Mitsubishi 10 ZF Model 21 diesel engine providing 750 horsepower. Cooling is catered for by two sets of fans located horizontally in the V cavity between the cylinder banks. And in addition, four oil coolers are installed along both sides of the engine, two each side, one of which is for the transmission oil. Mitsubishi 10ZF driving a power weight of 19 horsepower to ton for a top speed of over 60 km per hour. The driver's seat. The driver was located at the left with three GM17 modification to periscopes and a single piece hatch. At the right side from the driver placed an armor rack with rounds for main gun. What about the armor? This tank has all type of armor, just steel. Instead of composite armor, designers use steel plates for hull construction. It has frontal hull armor of 80 mm with an effective armor thickness up to 189 mm for the upper glasses and 139 mm for lower glasses. Side armor is 35 mm while Rear armor is 25mm thick. It's really not so many, even 14.5mm machine guns can penetrate this armor. The cast steel turret has an estimated 195mm of armor.
this failure more than Leopard 1 German tank, but less than Soviet T-62 tank. Put the batteries in the back of the hull, but honestly, I can't find photo or picture where batteries exactly installed. I only find information that batteries installed in backside near the engine. That's why I decided to put it in this place. Maybe I made a little mistake. Sorry for that. If you know where the batteries actually located, please tell me in comments or send me a link. Type 74 has a classic turret with three members of crew. Loader in left side of turret, as we know, tank produced without auto loader. Gunner in right side of turret and Commander Elsa in right side of turret behind the gunner. Main gun was classic for western tank 105mm cannon Royal Ordnance L7 or NATO standard M68 built under license by Chippean Steelworks and had 55 rounds in store. Most of them near the drivers in the hull and other shells was placed at the backside of turret. Now I'm making gunner main side. And there is commander site with laser range finder. In internet I can find this photo of commander site and made it according to this picture. Here we go. Gunner seat, extinguisher, very important scene in tank, rounds, loader seat, commander seat and of course our sights. Main site of gunner and site of commander. At the back side of turret place it radio station, rounds for machine gun and rounds for main gun. At the left side of cannon I place it 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and it has 4,500 rounds in store and my turret almost ready almost placing some external parts boxes with the tools, lights, hatches. Of course, each tank needs a steel rope, shuffle, axe, hammer and can of gasoline. Installing Commander Cupola with five periscopes and hatch basket behind the turret and smoke grenade launchers, three on the each side.
and ta -da -da -dum, ta -da -dum, Madus 50 caliber M2 Browning Heavy Anti Air Machine Gun. Love this machine gun. So, that's all, folks. My Type 74 is ready. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ja mate!